I'm Chip Amer, and this is Newton's Second Law. The acceleration of an object, as produced by a net force, is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force, in the same direction as the net force, and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Newton's second law of motion pertains to the behavior of objects for which all existing forces are not balanced. We're out here testing Newton's second law, which is the relationship between mass and acceleration, and how the acceleration of an object is related to the mass. Now we have Jeff Storms out here pushing this office chair. You can tell, notice the speed and the consistent speed and acceleration of the object. But in order to prove it, it's in context, I wish we have a weight scale right on here. You can clearly see that Jeff is pushing that around 10 pounds of force. Now we're going to do the same experiment again, but this time with an added weight to the chair. Now as you can see, Paige is now in the chair and Jeff is pushing at still 10 pounds of force. Notice how the chair is now going at a slower speed and slower rate than what was before. To prove that we are still at the same rate, we look at the weight scale again. Yep, that looks like 10 pounds of force to me, don't you think, Jeff? Yes. So, Tyler, what does this experiment have anything to do with Newton's second law? Well, you see, Jeff, when you're pushing that office chair at 10 pounds of force, you were going at a pretty consistent speed. Okay. But then we added Paige into the We put Paige on the chair, and obviously your chair went slower, which, which perfectly describes how Newton's second law is based on the inverse relationship between the acceleration of an object and the weight of the object. As the weight of the object goes up, the acceleration goes down. As the acceleration of the object goes up, the mass clearly must go down. And that is how it is related to the second law. And I am blobbering and blobbering and blobbering.